Hey guys, we have our JBL Clip 5 portable Bluetooth speaker and in this video we want to explain to you how to replace the battery on one of these speakers so in case your battery doesn't work at all anymore, it doesn't charge or the battery is depletes really fast then uh, we can do this here relatively easy. So we start out by removing the front grill um, using here a simple pocket knife with the screwdriver tool and I'm going to pry here right into the seam between the front and the back half of the grill and then we can uh, work our way around here. So this is already the second time that I'm removing the grill here. So the first time you do this, this is actually a little bit harder. So take your time when you do this, try not to uh, like damage the uh, plastic or the grill. Uh, so it is a little bit harder and it looks, it is harder than it looks uh, in this video because I have done it before. So then we're going to see a whole bunch of screws and we actually have to re only remove six of those and those six are holding on to the uh, back side here, the back side of the speaker, which is also the cover to uh, get access to it. And there's four screws that we don't have to remove. Uh, those are the ones that are actually for the clip part. So, but we do have to remove here six screws, those two and those two we leave in. And of course the three that hold in the uh, driver as well, we don't remove those. So I'm going to use here a small Phillips screwdriver and these screws were amazingly, surprisingly tight in there and I really had a hard time removing them. So I'm just using actually a little bigger screwdriver to get those out, to get more grip, a little bit more force on them. Okay, so now that we have removed here these six screws that I'm pointing at, uh, actually it's just five. Uh, so then we can remove now the back side and this will open up the speaker. So if you open this up now then, uh, there is a chance that the speaker will not be waterproof when you put it back together, if you don't put it back together correctly. So it's, it is relatively easy though. So you, you will see that in a second. Okay, so now I'm using again here my screwdriver, carefully prying off the back side. And then we can lift that off. We want to do that kind of carefully because the uh, battery is kind of stuck in there eventually. So you want to make sure we don't uh, tear on any cable or anything. So here we have the back side with the passive radiator. That's the part, big round part in the middle here. And then here we see the uh, battery here, then golden color in this uh, little padding. And then in order to remove it, we have to get access to the back side of the uh, PCB. So we have to remove this as well. And there's four smaller Phillips screws in here. So we're going to pop those out. And then we can take out the PCB. There's a little space here that we can carefully pry off of and then you can lift off the f left side first because you can see here on the right side there's uh the pcb goes right inside of that uh into those little holes here so there's the buttons uh the power button for example that have uh that need, so that's why the uh, pcb goes a little bit further to the right but eventually we can wiggle this out here and also don't pull on it too tight because there's a whole bunch of wires connected to it uh, that go towards the body. So we don't want to accidentally tear one, any of those off. Okay, so now here on the bottom, we see the uh, connector to the battery and we're going to hold onto the darker part of the connector, like the one that's soldered onto the PCB board. And then on the back side of that really white connector, we can, it's a, there's a little tiny lever. I'm going to show you this in a, in a second. We have to push on that lever and then when we push on the lever, then we can really easily pull out uh, the the connector here and the, uh, the cord that goes to the battery. See there how I'm pushing on that and that releases here this, this connector. Okay, so that was pretty much it. So now we can pull out the battery. So uh, I couldn't find a replacement battery quite yet at the time that I made the video, but I'm going to I'll place a link here as soon as I find that. I'm going to place this link here in the, as a pinned comment in the comment section. Okay, so then when we have our replacement battery, we're just going to slide this in with the uh, connector, with the wiring wires here on the bottom right, so the wires first, just like we pulled out the uh, old battery. We're going to reconnect this here, remember, the right direction. So we have to be able to see the four pins here, the four contacts. 
will should be facing us at this point. We, then we are going to slide in the connector, make sure that it's tight, that it's locked in position, it doesn't fall out accidentally later on. And now we're going to reassemble or put back the put the PCB board back in there. Remember to slide in the right side with the buttons. We'll slide that right in there at first, and then we're going to align everything. There's actually three little red plastic pins here, two on the uh, two on the top on the right and the left corner, and then one on the center and the bo on the bottom. You can use those to help you guide the PCB into the right uh, position. You can see those really easily now that I have attached the first screw. So let's uh, put all the four screws back in. Make sure the PCB sits really right in in the right place. Here I'm going to point to the to those uh, three dots again. Okay, so now we have attached all four screws. Remember, these are the smaller screws, smaller Phillips screws, and then we can close off the lid, put the lid back on. Make sure that this seal here, this black thing here, this is the seal that makes the water the speaker waterproof. Make sure that this sits really nicely in there and didn't come out by accident. And then we're just going to slide the back cover back on, make sure this sits really tightly. So then we have the uh, little bigger Phillips screws and we're going to tighten those down. So you really want to make sure you tighten all the screws down really well so that the speaker is waterproof again. Okay, so then we can check this after we tighten down all the screws, make sure that really there's no gap, no nothing, nothing moves. It's all nice and tight and waterproof. Okay, so then the last step is here to put the front cover back on. That just is simply snapped on here. Just align it right and then push it, press on it until everything looks right again. Okay, so that was already it for this video. Hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below. Thank mm -hmm. you.